Assam is a state in northeastern India known for its wildlife, archaeological sites, and tea plantations. Assam's Brahmaputra and Barak valleys are very rich in terms of freshwater turtle and tortoise diversity. This area is one of the top 25 priority turtle conservation areas of the world. But due to increasing anthropogenic pressure on the habitat, human consumption and illegal trading, turtles are slowly vanishing from the wild habitats. These turtles are also victims of various religious, traditional beliefs and superstitions and many of them end up in the congested unnatural ponds of religious institute. Temple Ponds of Assam has a great role to conserve many endemic and endangered species of turtle and tortoise. This documentary will show two of these ponds located in two different parts of Assam. The Nakshankar Temple is a famous shrine situated in Jamuguri Hut near Sutia, to the east of Tejpur in Bishnad district of Assam. The temple is believed to be built by King Narashankar of Nagakha in the 4th century. Nagashankar temple is one of the famous ancient Hindu temples which has nine different types of species of turtle and tortoise. Out of nine species, Nelsonia nigricans species were found in Nagashankar temple pond which is already extinct in wild. For the better health of the turtles, visitors are not allowed to feed biscuits or puff rice to the turtles. Only dry fish can be offered to the turtles. We spoke to few of the temple authority to know in details. Monamsi Punesokolja, Moe Nakonko Mondidor, Manasikoti, Nakaso, Yat Hongrot Konamar board, Hunyake Huyase, a Kaso Ami board, Hunyaka Kitu, a Kaso Biscuit, Muri, Kabul Nologa Bustu Vizakami Kabodiana, Tianloko, our committee stick with it, Kunu Bustu Mona Yat, Pelonia Bustu Talabulinity, Potol Sotol Adiko Talaji, Hikini Kane, Ami, Mane Homan, Jotno Lotum Committee, Aru. এইখিনি আমাৰ বিধায়ক পদ্ম হাজৰিকাৰ জৰিয়তে হে হৈছে আমাৰ সতীয় সমষ্টি বিধায়ক পদ্ম হাজৰিকাৰ জৰিয়তে এইখিনি আমি গোটেইখিনি কৰিবলৈ সক্ষম হৈছে Sri <laughs> Our guru is a few to the Casco Yapa and Kuba Palu, Yata Hitu. Here we are in the Kaguse, Yanaka Hongor Sulte, Mansinka, Kazaka Hongor Kitabu. Visitors has also accepted the new terms. Visitor here, and from the temple authorities, I have come to know that we are not supposed to feed these turtles biscuits on Moody. Uh, rather, we are supposed to give them dry, uh, dry fish, which is good for their health, and that's what, what I have done today. I've come from Nagaland. I've come to the interest that after hearing about this beautiful place and it's about a temple and how they're working, how the temple management are working towards preserving the uh, extension of the turtle, and after coming, I've realized that the management are working really hard. And we see the numbers of turtle that has been increased with time by seeing the uh, 
statistic and I guess we should all pay a visit because it's a very beautiful and clean pond where turtles are living very lively. Dry fish are being sold just outside the temple gate. Locals are also selling other made artifacts of turtles as incense stick holders to earn their livelihoods, thus promoting the significance of soft shell turtles. The next temple pond is the Hygriva Mathav temple which is located at Hajo on the outskirts of Guwahati and is playing a significant role in reviving an extinct species of freshwater turtle known as the black soft shell turtle. The key person who is responsible for increasing the extinct population of the turtle is Pranab Malakar, the caretaker of the temple pond in Haju. Although black soft shell turtle is officially extinct in the wild, but because of the caretakers of Hygriva Mathav temple, who is nurturing this extinct turtle back to life and also protecting them from harm. <laughs> কণিখিনি নষ্ট হওয়ার কারণে মই বিভিন্ন কর্তৃপক্ষ জনাইছিল মানে তেনে কো আগ্রহ দেখা নাছিল তার পিছত গুৱাহাটীৰ পৰা এটা স্টাফ আহিছিল টিসিআরপি বুলিতে টাটল টিসিআরপি টাটল কনজারভেশন ৰিসার্চ প্ৰগ্ৰাম বুলি আৰু তেওঁ লোক আহি মানে মোক কথা পাতিলে কাছখন সংৰক্ষণৰ কাৰণে তুমি তো মানে নিৰ্দেশ দিছা বা তেনে কা পইচা গতিকে কি কৰিব লাগিব তো এনে কা পইচা মানে কৰিলে কাছখন সংৰক্ষণ হ'ব তেওঁলোকে <laughs> প্রাকৃতিকভাবে <laughs> আজি পর্যন্ত মানে লাগি আছো বিভিন্ন মঠ মন্দিরত পোলিবিল দিয়া গেছে আমার রাইজক মানে সহযোগত হোক বা মন্দিরের সহযোগতে হোক আর এটা মানে একটা আলোচনার মাধ্যমত আমার ফরেস্ট ডিপার্টমেন্ট আর উপায়ুক্ত মহোদয় নির্দেশ মর্ম বাসাসর জড়িয়ে এই ওয়াইল্ড লাইফ দিয়ার কারণে একটা ব্যবস্থা করা গেছে গতি ওয়াইল্ড লাইফ থাকলেহে মানে বস্তুখি জিয়াই থাকি গতি আজি দুই হাজার ষোলোরপরা আমি ওয়াইল্ড লাইফ দিয়ার একটা ব্যবস্থা করছো এটা কাম তো মানে নিজে করে আসো কিন্তু তাদের মানে <laughs> Jay Aditya Purkastu, who is a herpetologist at Helpert, spoke about the turtle conservation. I am Jay Aditya Purkastu, representing Helpert. So we have been working on 
turtles in Temple Pond for a long period of time now. And in Temple Pond, we have seen that there are lots of scopes. Along with that, there are lots of challenges. But uh, the, in, in the very beginning, if I have to talk about the role of Temple Pond in turtle conservation, it's a wonderful role. But uh, the important thing about Temple are because on the relig religious ground, the te uh, turtles are conserved in the Temple Pond. And uh, because of this, uh, people are not harming the turtle. But outside the Temple Pond, you see these uh, turtles have been eaten or in the market there are turtles have been eaten maybe in certain cases but in temple pond they are on the religious ground a safe heaven is provided to them so in many temple pond we see there are various species of turtles so we have uh, checklisted around 29 temple pond throughout the state of assam uh, having turtle in them and one of the a few of them are very important in terms of turtle conservation hoigri madhav temple in hajo uh, Ugratara temple in Guwahati, Nakshankar temple in uh, uh, Sunitpur. So uh, these are important temple ponds in context of turtle. But the Hoigrib Madhav has the highest temp turtle diversity in it. Around 13 to 14 species of turtle are found in that pond. And if you talk in context of Assam, in Assam we are having around uh, 20 species of turtles and tortoises. And out of that 14 or 13 or 14 are present in Huigrib uh, Madhav. That 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 is a huge uh, diversity in that temple pond. So uh, these are very important spots or hot spots for turtle conservation. But we have to be very uh, rationalist, and also we have to take in consideration the biology of turtle when we are planning something to conserve turtle in those temple ponds. So uh, in general, the challenges the turtle faces throughout its habitat are uh, very. Uh, uh, varied challenges. For example, if you are talking about natural habitat, turtles are hunted and then for sand mining, lots of turtle nests are destroyed while sand mining is done. And degradation of wetland, water bodies are also creating problem for turtle conservation. That is what in a natural habitat. And there are diseases as well. But when we talk about temple pond, the problems are of uh, different magnitude because in temple pond, uh, the turtle, people are keeping turtle and then they don't know much about the biology of turtles. So turtles are not given basking spot because turtles are dependent on uh, sun rays and the, they cannot regulate their body temperature. So they need to bask to regulate their body temperature and also get rid of their parasites in the body. But if you go to temple pond in the name of beautification, you will not find any uh, log or uh, branches in the water so that the turtle can come up and sit over it. That is a big challenge. Again, if you see, uh, the in the name of beautification, most of the periphery of the temple pond, they are concretized. So as a result, turtle cannot go up and lay eggs. That is another problem. As a result, many turtle may die withholding the eggs inside them. Thirdly, even if uh, there are uh, not concretized, there are clays rather than riverine silt. Turtle are accustomed to lay egg in riverine silt. But these clays, it's very difficult for turtle to dig in. So turtle which should have dug one meter and laid egg now digs like uh, two or three inches and lay egg there and go away. So as a result, the because of excess humidity, excess temperature, the egg get destroyed. Mm -hmm. Also because of parasites and pests, the egg there. Even the, uh, the opportunistic predators like wolf and dogs can just dig up the hole and uh, eat the egg. So these are the problems and also uh, like uh, the mindset. The mindset is the most important thing. Like you are feeding turtle in a temple pond the food which is very non-natural to turtles like breads and these things so these are creating a they are eating because they have no other option but these are changing the biology of turtle and maybe the reproductive cycle of the turtle gets altered so all in all these are the big challenge that we need to address when we are talking of turtle in a temple pond black soft shell turtle has gained high popularity among the public through various media publications. Over the years, locals have also gained the consciousness of turtle conservation and has taken it seriously. Oh, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go
আগতে বজারত এই কাঁচল দেখা পাইছিল আগতে মানুষ কাঁচল মাংস বজার বেছিছিল এটা সরকারে বন্ধ করে দিয়ার কারণে মানুষে ভয় করে খাবলে এটা মানে মন্দিরের পুখুরীতে দেখা পাও তাকে যত্ন করে রাইজে রাখিছে হাই মাই নেম ইজ হরিশ এন্ড আই স্টাডি হিয়ার ইন কলেজ সো বিং এ রেসপনসিবল সিটিজেন এন্ড আজ এ স্টুডেন্ট উই হ্যাভ এ রেসপনসিবিলিটি টু স্প্রেড দ্য অওয়ারনেস অফ টোটাল কনজারভেশন টু দ্য ইউথ আজ ওয়েল এস দ্য লোকাল পিপল হিয়ার সো ডেট দে ক্যান নো দ্য ফ্যাক্ট দ্যাট দ্য টোটালস আর ইন ডেঞ্জার এন্ড উই শুড সেভ দেন ইভেন দো মো দেন half of the world's turtle species are now threatened with extinction we hope that turtle will have a better life in near future with the temple pond conservations